think it's easy for us to think that there might be something we can say or something we can do to help somebody, but then we talk ourselves down a bit and we think, you know, that's not really going to make a difference to that person. But I remember a time in my life when there was a guy that was in the, well actually I was in high school at the time, he was in, in the youth group that I attended. And he was really a jerk and nobody really liked him and he was really, really mean to me. But he was going through something and I knew that there was something going on behind the scenes that I couldn't really tell what it was. And there was a series of weeks where he didn't come to youth group and as much as we all felt relief that we didn't have to deal with his attitude problem, I knew that something just wasn't right. And so I pulled out the youth group directory and I looked up his phone number one night and I felt like the biggest idiot in the world, but I called him. And he picked up the phone and I kind of stumbled through this awkward conversation asking how he was, telling him that you know I'd noticed he wasn't around and that kind of stuff. And he was really short and really snippy. And we got off the phone really quick. But I found out a few weeks later that the night that I had called him, he was at the lowest point that he'd ever been before and that he was contemplating taking his own life. He was thinking that nobody even noticed when he wasn't around. And there I was, called him out of the blue, told him I'd noticed he hadn't been around. And as rude as he was to me, weeks later he claimed that that phone call was one of the things that saved his life. And I think that that really taught me that I should pick up the phone and make that call, I should send that email, I should write that note, that I shouldn't let these opportunities go wasted because you never know when the smallest act of kindness, no matter how stupid or out of place it makes you feel, might be the one thing that somebody needs to keep going. And so I encourage you as we go into New Year's Eve and we're all busy with parties and gatherings and all kinds of things over the next few days, Look around and see if there's someone that you can invite to go with you. See if there's someone that you can have over to your own home. See if there's someone that you can just kind of give a phone call to and say, hey, you know, I, I missed you. And try to make the difference in someone else's life this year. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and again, please feel free to leave us a comment in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you.